Being good at Call of Duty doesn't seem to mean as much as it used to. But did it ever really matter? After all, it is just a game. Essentially a toy to play with to fill up time when you don't have anything better to do. At the end of the day, it's supposed to be fun. And is it really fun if you only enjoy when you win? Is fun an outcome or a destination? Or is it the moments in between where the desired result is possible, but not guaranteed? The playing field isn't even really balanced or fair in an online environment after all. So why do we sometimes take it way too seriously? How much opportunities really lie within getting good when all these skill issues arise? Being good at the game is now rewarded with accusations of cheating, being told to go outside and touch grass, or speculation as to the lobby you were playing in. Between highly manipulatable matchmaking with methods such as two boxing, which got Swag and Korean Savage famous all the way back in Black Ops 3 days, to reverse boosting, what's the point in posting a gameplay just for the sentiment to be, I wish I had those lobbies. So many people cheat or use shady methods to try to gain a shortcut to success. I think this has devalued good legit gameplay and blurred the lines between what is possible and what is cheating, casting doubt on every action players make in game. It also doesn't help that cheat methods continue evolving with things such as DMA hardware cheats, using things like Arduinos or Raspberry Pis and being undetectable. Things like this put a dark cloud over the future of FPS online gaming, especially from a competitive standpoint with money on the line. Call of Duty League used to seem like it had a tighter knit and stronger fan base back during the optic days of Scump and Formal. Perhaps Warzone is the reason multiplayer has fallen behind. Maybe it's just a side effect of time. Warzone doesn't seem like it's as popular as it used to be as well. Maybe that was just the pandemic that amplified its success. Maybe the game took a massive hit with Warzone 2 and the players lost hope. Viewership on multiplayer is possibly down more than ever in YouTube history, and Warzone is at record lows as well. Hopefully we don't see the Call of Duty League go the way of the Overwatch League. Perhaps Call of Duty was never meant to be a competitive or balanced game. Maybe it's just a casual game for fun, and that's okay. As long as we don't take it too seriously. I think competition is always going to have its place, but I think there's a time to be realistic about certain things. Warzone's played on 20 hertz servers over the internet against people across the world. You could be playing against somebody 1500 miles away. It's not going to be balanced. It's not going to be fair. It doesn't matter how good you are in some scenarios. Some people can't seem to understand that. Like, you die to desync in a gunfight. Get good. Skill issue. Or you're complaining about whatever thing that's wrong with the game. And you got some teenager who doesn't even know the aim assist is helping them. That's going to tell you to get good. It's like I was playing before you were even a fucking sperm in your dad's ball sack. <laughs> All jokes aside, I really do think that the skill gap continues to get compressed. So being good means less and less. Like... If controller players all turned their aim assist off, you'd see who the best controller players were, and the trash players would get absolutely dominated by the players who don't need aim assist. The fact of the matter is they'll never nerf aim assist because it's a marketing tactic. It benefits to have an 8 year old hop on the game and get some kills, feel skillful, ask his mom for the credit card information, get a skin, and now it's his main game and he feels like he's God's gift to Call of Duty. There's always going to be things put into the game to make it unfair, whether that's power positions, whether that's things like covert sneakers without any... There's no, there's no counterplay to them. Like, you could say there is. The only counter really is sit in a corner so that nobody can get behind you. It really doesn't make any sense to me to go on a 25 streak on ground war, run around the map looking for everybody, and then finally somebody pops up behind my back after I've just been fucking searching and surviving a tank chasing me down and all this other bullshit. It's actually kind of crazy when you really critically think about all of the different factors in Call of Duty that are random. You have no control over what your teammates are doing. You have no control over the way that your enemies decide to play or the positioning or the spawns or anything. There's just less readability. There's less and less readability every, every time they put out a new Call of Duty, it feels like. 
this can't be by coincidence. This is literally just an equity thing to make everybody feel good enough. It's not about getting better at the game or excelling or anything like that. It's about everybody feeling good enough to spend more money. 